song. I'm here just off the coast of Grand Cayman, heading out in the open ocean. <laughs> and a dolphin's along for the ride. Hey, it's me, Chris. I'm here in the Caribbean, and I'm about to dive with one of the coolest creatures on the planet, the Southern Stingray. Now, these guys are weird looking. We're gonna try to get an up close and personal look at them using a lot of these little cameras. Really close up views. So I'm gonna attach them to different parts of my body and let's get in there and see what we can find. There, the Southern Stingray. Stingrays are bottom dwelling fish and they are one of many species of rays in the world. They have such a unique body shape and since they're coming to check me out, we can see them up close. Oh, hey buddy, you're looking good. They're curious about me. Whoa, that's its mouth. Its mouth has teeth. But biting isn't their defense against predators. Their tails are the dangerous part. Stingray tails can sometimes be twice the length of their body. And along that tail is a serrated spine with a sharp venomous barb. The venom is held in the skin tissue around the barb. And if broken, it can be very dangerous. But stingrays generally don't want a confrontation. If I stay calm and don't scare them, they won't want to use their barbs. Oh, and look at those eyes. They're large, well-developed, but their eyesight is not their most developed sense. A stingray's gills and mouth are underneath its body, meaning it can't see the food as it eats. More than their eyes, they hunt with their sense of smell, touch, and electroreception. Remember, stingrays forage along the ocean floor for food, searching for clams, shrimp, crabs, and other small invertebrates. These sandy bottoms are full of prey, but we won't find them using our eyes. You see, many of the prey are hiding under the sand. And stingrays can sense their presence by picking up special signals using their ampullae de Lorenzini. It's a system of tiny sensory organs around their face, snout, and body that can detect the electrical field given off by the bodies of small animals. So a crab can bury itself in the sand, but the charged ions its body releases in the surrounding seawater are picked up by the rays. That's how the stingray can pinpoint the crab's hiding spot. Southern stingrays are basically flattened sharks. Like sharks, they have skeletons made not of bone, but of cartilage, the bendy stuff in our ears and nose. Cartilaginous fish are called elasmobranchs, and you can see how the cartilage allows their wing-like pectoral fins to ripple like waves. Stingray movement is amazing, and here we're seeing all of the classic foraging moves, like active scanning, where they swim slowly along the bottom as they scan. The turn back to scan in the opposite direction. The rotation, moving one fin only to circle a mark. And glide scanning, using built up inertia to glide along the bottom with no flapping movement. Whoa, also a good move to sneak up on me. Southern stingrays are a uniquely cool creature with incredible creature powers. Back to the boat. This video was produced by professionals. Stingrays can be very dangerous, so please do not approach them and give rays their space. Like and subscribe for more amazing animal videos.